I thought it would be really cool to show you some typography techniques using CSS. So if you have a print background, I think you're really going to like this. I've got two techniques for you. One that I'm referring to as basic, sort of a, I guess, an introductory to this issue of typography, and then an advanced, which is going to get a little bit more involved. So if you're interested in following along, head into the project files by chapter folder on the DVD into chapter six, and then you'll find typography basic start. That's this file here. And inside this file, I'm going to go and create three class rules to completely change our text on screen here. And what I'm after, just so you know, sort of the idea here, is I want to create something that looks almost like it's out of a newspaper, that sort of look. So I'm going to start off by creating a new class style way down at the bottom of the CSS styles panel. My selector type is set to class. I'm going to call this guy date and this document only. Click on OK. Now for my type settings, my font, I'm going to set to Verdana. The size, 11 pixels. I'll make it bold underneath weight. I'll set my case to uppercase. And then underneath the block category, something that we really haven't seen yet is our letter spacing. I mentioned briefly earlier when I was touring through this dialog box, we have word spacing and we have letter spacing. So I'm going to throw in two pixels for our letter spacing. And then finally, underneath the box category, I'm going to set my margin bottom to zero pixels. I'll click on OK. Now, as we're going along here, you can either apply these styles as we create them, or you can create them all and then go back and apply them. But I'm going to go and apply my style. So I'm going to single click inside the date at the top there, April 2009. And then from the menu on my properties inspector, there's my new style date right there. See that letter spacing there inside the date. Good stuff. And of course, over inside the CSS styles panel, there's my new class rule. Let's go and create the second guy here. Once again, down to the bottom of the CSS styles panel. This guy's also going to be a class. I'm going to call him main headline. All right. Let's set the font to times the size to 45 pixels. I'll make him bold. And I'll set his color to this sort of mid gray, I guess you would say, or maybe a darkish gray. I'll go and throw in some letter spacing as well. This time what I'll do is I'll use negative two pixels. And a little bit of spacing underneath the box category, margin, I'll set his top to zero and his bottom to negative 20 pixels. And that's going to be applied to the second line of text there, our fella there, Alfredo Gucciardo. So that's main headline. Perfect. Looking good. Isn't that great there?